out there, never stop trusting in God. All right? It may take long, but you make it. I only had one interview in the match. And by God's grace, I matched. Yeah, I matched. I matched. Praise God. Praise God. Woo! He has made everything beautiful in his time. Matching into residency was a miracle which required faith. Despite receiving my USMLE Step 2 CK score late in the application cycle, I had to take a leap of faith and apply. If I had unmatched in 2020, that meant it wasn't time for me to start residency. But since I did, the story continues. Med school graduation was virtual due to the COVID-19 pandemic. All the same, we found a way to celebrate. Intern year was challenging, especially training during a pandemic where most cases were with COVID positive patients. On the brighter side, I was able to put an exclamation point behind my MBA healthcare administration degree. Thank God for our scientists and researchers. I received my COVID vaccine when it was recommended. Hey, I'm still here. Looking back, I really don't know how I was able to keep these masks on for most of my 12 hour shifts. Dolly Parton once said, we cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails. This resonated well with me at the beginning of the pandemic where every information seemed positive. Well, we move. Residency birthday celebrations were intimate, always felt good to be celebrated by the work family. I was never lonely because I had great support system on and off the court. Big shout out to a wife, mother, and CEO of Nails Banana Pudding for holding everyone down on days as such. Friends you make during the summer of training form lifelong partnership. We need one another, especially referring patients to the right provider who you know will provide excellent medical service. You don't know what to expect or what will be coming your way during training. Nonetheless, having a positive attitude and showing up make a big difference. You learn as you go and striving to be better than who you were the previous year is a major key to your success. As simple as that sounded, it can create ripples anywhere you find yourself in life. I stand here today as a Caribbean med school graduate who matched into an excellent internal medicine institution and received the best training I could ever get. I'm fortunate and blessed. I'm happy I get to help someone with their medical needs every day. Back to the hairline. <laughs> you know, let's, let's leave this for another video, shall we? Time to graduate. I chose this pen to bring to memory where it all started. Do not despise these small beginnings. God bless our homeland, God. There is a lot to be told, but don't worry. The camera will be rolling when the airplane taxis in some months to come.
Graduation day was uneventful. A congratulatory handshake from the old boy was worth it. It's all about helping other people, man. He did this by putting a roof on the head of people through draftmanship and building construction. His tools were the T-square, drawing board, the hammer. Today, I inherit the quest of helping people by providing an outstanding medical service. You already guessed one too, the stethoscope. There isn't a class without classmates. So I give shout out to you all. I know you're making it big out there. So on your screen, you'll see on the left, Dr. Aknug. On your right, Dr. Keaton. Top left of your screen, Dr. Al. And to the right, Dr. Ganta. To the bottom left, Dr. Al Nabwani. And to the right, Dr. Patel. We can't forget Dr. Chen, whom you saw in the video choosing cardiology. You can check out the link in the description box below. Mentorship should be a priority of every goal-directed young person out there. Find a mentor for the place that you're trying to go. Keep asking questions until your path is as clear as day. In all things, be yourself. Learn, adjust, and pursue. You do have potential. The future is bright, brighter than what you can imagine. More content with the queen and the kiddos coming soon. I'll see you in my next video. Shalom.